So when I was younger, I was kind of an introvert and I didn't really want to travel the world that much. And to be honest with you, I've only been to one country outside the United States, which is Canada. And then the pandemic happened. <laughs> The truth is, I think a lot of people took traveling for granted. They thought that they could always just do it sometime down the line, and that's not necessarily true. And this past year has made me realize that I really do want to travel, and it's something that I want to do before I get too old to enjoy it. And I have been getting a ton of requests to make this video, so I'm thinking that you might have the same feeling as well. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about real jobs that pay you to travel the world. All right, so number one on the list, you've probably heard about this. It's going to be holiday work visas. So this is basically just like a temporary visa that allows you to work a normal job in whatever country you're staying in. So it's basically like you're getting partially paid to vacation. Is it possible to learn this power? Now, sometimes they'll help you find a job. Sometimes you're gonna kind of be on your own. And there's other channels that have covered this extensively here on YouTube, so I won't go into it very much. And most of the time, the jobs you're gonna get are going to be relatively low paying just because the employer knows that you're gonna be leaving in a few months. And so they don't wanna spend all that time and effort to train you. So some countries that are really well known for doing this are going to be South Korea and Australia, for instance. So let's say you go to South Korea, for instance, you can get a tutoring job that pays around 20 to $30 an hour, which is enough for you to live off of. And you're going to be in a part of the world where it's very easy for you to fly to other countries and visit them. You could also go to Australia, for instance, and find a job that makes maybe $20 to $30 an hour maximum. But you get to live in freaking Australia, which is awesome. And it's also a great location to travel to other parts of the world as well. So this allows you to travel and go to parts of the world that you wouldn't be able to otherwise, even if you don't have very much money. And so it can be a great option for some people. However, However, this is probably not going to be a long-term solution. It's more something that you'd maybe do for a few months or a few years at most. Next on the list, we are gonna be talking about freelance work. Oh man, do you know how many freelance jobs I've had to do in my life to get where I am now? So freelance work is basically where you do gigs for whatever type of skill you have. So for instance, someone might hire you to design their website and they might pay you a few thousand dollars for your work. But this could be any number of different skills. There are lots of gigs out there where you can get paid over $100 an hour for your work. And there are a ton of different sites out there you can do gigs on. One of the best ones is going to be upwork.com. So if you either have a skill that's already marketable or you find one that's really rare that not that many people are good at, you can go on this website, post your gig, and and you will have people contact you. Once you feel really confident about that, you can go off and travel. So sometimes these gigs will be very niche. So one example I saw a few years ago that was really good was there is this uh, software service called ClickFunnels that a lot of internet marketers use. And if you are good at programming that software service and navigating it, they'll pay you really good money for that, like 30 to $50 an hour sometimes. Another really good one is obviously gonna be different types of programming skills, depending on what language or framework you know, you can get paid 50 plus plus dollars an hour very easily, sometimes over a hundred. Now, number three is going to be opening your own business. Now, this isn't gonna be one where you can just apply for and Ta -da! you got the job. And this one is kind of obvious and it's not technically a job, but it's going to give you a great chance to be able to travel the world at a young age. And honestly, there are a lot of benefits to having a normal nine to five job, but for some types of people, having a normal job would be a nightmare and it's a real problem. Modern problems require modern solutions. Now, usually with a business, a lot of the time it is going to take a while to get the ball rolling. But once you get it rolling, especially if it's an online business, this will give you tons of opportunity to travel around the world. So for instance, you could start your own website, start your own service, become a consultant, create a software app. Technically, you could start a physical business as well and then just sort of run it turnkey, like hire a manager to run it for you. But that's probably going to be quite a bit more difficult. But keep in mind that starting your own business is going to be kind of like playing with fire. It's high risk, but also high reward. Number four on the list is going to be your normal job, but instead of going to an office, you work remotely. Now, a lot of people want to start a business so that they can travel the world and work remotely. But the problem with starting a business is it's very difficult. Your chances of success are low and it usually is going to take quite a while. But what if I told you that there's a shortcut? 
a cheat code that only big brain people know about. Well, if there's anything that we've learned in the year of 2020, there are a ton of jobs out there that can actually be done remotely. You don't have to go into an office to do them. Or at the very least, 80% of it can be done from home. Now, some of you are probably thinking there's no way that my job can be done remotely. I'm the exception to the rule, but I'm telling you right now, there's probably some way that at least a significant amount of your job can be done from home or maybe traveling the world. Or if it can't be done, then at the very least, you could probably transfer to another job that's very similar to yours that can be. So even as a healthcare worker, for instance, you'd think maybe there's no way that job can be done remotely, but I have a very good friend who actually switched over to a remote version of the job she was doing. She's a pharmacist as well, and she got paid almost as much. She only had to take a small pay cut. And on top of that, I'll never forget this computer programmer that I met in Las Vegas who had these just nice nicest gig I've ever seen. It really changed the way that I thought about work in general. He was basically a database architect that got paid to work about 10 hours a week usually, and he made over $200,000 a year. I would run into him at McDonald's and different coffee shops around Las Vegas when I was studying in pharmacy school, and we would always chit chat. He was a really cool guy. And he basically had the freedom to travel anywhere he wanted to and do anything that he wanted to. And all he had to do was work around 10 hours a week on average. Anyways, Again, programming skills are great here. Um, there's other skills that are gonna be much more uh, better suited for remote work. And so it's definitely worth it to check out some of my other videos because I've talked about this extensively. Next on the list is one that you might not have thought would be on this list, and that is going to be military and specifically joining the Navy. Now, of course, this is gonna depend on where you get stationed and what you're doing. You might get stationed on a ship, for instance, that travels all over the world, or maybe you don't get stationed on a ship, but every few years you're gonna be moving around to different locations. And you can technically do this with any of the military branches, but the one where you're gonna be most likely to get stationed on a ship or an aircraft carrier that travels all over is gonna be the Navy. Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to have a plan going in here. There's certain types of jobs where you're much more likely to get stationed on a ship than others, so you're gonna to wanna to do your research with this. But yeah, the military can be a great option for getting to travel around the world. Number six might make you laugh, but I'm gonna say it, becoming a YouTuber is actually a fantastic way to travel the world. I was not expecting that. And here's why. When you're a YouTuber, you can actually get a lot of your trips sponsored. That's right, whenever you're watching one of your favorite YouTubers and they're doing some kind of cool trip where they're vlogging along the way and they're kind of just taking you with them, there is a secret reason why they're doing that. Actually, there's several secret reasons. I mean, don't get me wrong, vlogging is fun and all, but a lot of the time, if you're gonna go on vacation, you probably just want to relax. But for one, a lot of the time, you can actually get parts of your trip sponsored. So let's say you're going to a really fancy restaurant or you're going to stay at this hotel, they will actually comp all of that as long as you mention it in the video. And then on top of that, many of the travel expenses you can actually write off on your taxes because of the fact that you are technically making it for YouTube. Now this is especially true if you are a travel vlogger. Uh, these people will get crazy tax benefits just because of the fact that they're taking videos along the way and that's technically how they make their money. But even if they are not a travel vlogger, just including a short clip that you put in one of your YouTube videos sometimes is enough to write that off as a tax benefit. That's right, you are getting paid to travel so you get to write most of it off for free. What the f Now this is gonna depend on a lot of different things like the country you live in, the state you live in, etc. So make sure that you consult a licensed tax professional. And it really pays to have a camera and know how to use it. And I don't wanna brag or anything, but I've probably gotten to the point on this channel or I could just travel full time and live off of the income that I make from this channel alone, just from the AdSense. So this can be a great option for the right person at the right time, but I do have to warn you, just like most things that are worth it, it is going to take some time to build up a channel like this. So keep that in mind, it'll likely take you several years before you're making a full time income, but it will definitely be worth it. Number seven on the list is going to be teaching English abroad. So you could go to a country like China or South Korea, where there is a lot of kind of wealthy families that want their kids not only to know how to speak English, but they want to know certain dialects, right? So there's American English and there's British English and there are differences there. So they not only want their kids to be fluent in writing and reading English, but they also want them to be able to speak it in a fluent way to Americans, for instance. And so this one is especially good if you're smart and you know multiple languages. 
unlike me. Ooh, self burn. Those are rare. And a lot of the time it's less of, you know, teaching people the basics of English and more of just having a conversation with them. Now this one is getting relatively saturated, especially depending on where you go. There's a lot of people who kind of figured out that this is a great way to make money. And so there are many people doing this and depending on where you go, it might be pretty saturated, but it can be a great option for the right person. Next, number eight on the list is going to be somebody that travels for a living like a pilot or a flight attendant. There are many different careers out there that travel for a living and it's not just you know flying type careers you could also work on a ship for instance and in many of these careers you'll be able to go all around the world and sometimes you'll get to spend a few days at a time in different locations just to sample them out and try them and with airlines for instance if you're smart about it you can strategically plan your trips so that you get to spend a few days maybe your weekend for instance someplace that you would like to maybe live in the future you get to test it out and it's almost like getting paid to vacation there for a few days on top of that many airlines are going to offer steeply discounted or just completely free flights to all kinds of different places in the world if you work for them. Next, we're gonna be talking about travel nurses. Now, nursing is one of those professions I've mentioned many times on this channel that is really good, not only just when you look at it at a base level, you know, you get paid really well, but it's also extremely flexible. So honestly, I'm talking about travel nurses here, but there's a lot of other types of healthcare professions where you can also travel as well. So there are many places, sometimes this is gonna be within the United States and sometimes even world wide that are going to need extra help from healthcare professionals. So basically you would sign up with an agency and they would tell you what places are in need of extra help and you would travel to those places and maybe you'd stay for a few weeks or a few months, sometimes even longer than that, and you would get to explore in your free time. So you'd spend a little bit of time there and then if you started to get tired of it, you could just go to a different location and then you'd get to know that place as well. And this is just a great way for you to figure out what types of places you actually enjoy being in. And on top of that, a lot of the time these professions where you have to travel are going to get paid really well because there are some places that really need people who have these skills. Number 10 on the list is going to be tutoring for a family that moves abroad. A lot of wealthy families actually travel to different countries throughout the year. So they might spend three months here, three months there, three months there, and then three months in another place. Now, instead of constantly moving their children from school to school, a lot of them choose to basically homeschool them and they're going to hire a tutor for that. Now, this is one of those jobs where you would be moving with the family wherever they go, but you'd probably get to live in very nice places throughout the world and vacation with the family as well sometimes. So that is a plus side to this one. But let's be realistic here. Not everyone is going to want to do this. And so instead of doing that, you can also tutor online. Now, it probably won't be as well paying and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get a gig like that. But if you tutor online, that can be a great option, especially if you have something that you are specifically really good at. I remember I used to tutor for a test called the PCAT. This is basically the pharmacy school admissions exam and I did really well on it and so a lot of people wanted to know how I studied for it and I basically just shared my method for studying and what resources I used. I eventually got to the point where I was charging over a hundred dollars an hour tutoring for the PCAT. Now of course I wasn't getting a ton of people who were asking me for this but it was really good side hustle money especially for a college kid. If you haven't done it already go ahead and gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And before you leave, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.